What appealed to you about uh, Makai Uh Just a steady, steady defenseman, hard-nosed player, uh, skates well. Um, you know, plays in all situations. You know, plays. I don't think power play is going to be kind of the thing, but he's you know good penalty killer. Plays against the, the best players. Uh, plays physical. Um, good on the PK. Um, just, we liked a lot about his game. Obviously, you know we you know we kind of try to target a little bit of defense going into this draft, and you know things just kind of happened uh, as we went into. You know, we had Bergeron really high on our list and couldn't pass up the skill. Um, you know, so that was kind of the reasoning with the 33 pick. And uh, with McIsaac, uh, we, we like the defense. We like the, we like what he brings to the table as far as with a mixture of the kids that we've got. So I think he's going to be a pretty good complimentary player. And Alec, is that a, a no-brainer there, kind of with, with the history with him? Or what, what, uh, with who, sorry? With Gula. Yeah, I mean, we wanted, you know, he's got good size. He was a great interview at the Combine. Um, he's kind of been a kid that's, you know, a little bit of a late bloomer, a guy that's uh, obviously got a history with the Red Wings, uh, you know, with the family. And, um, you know, he's driven. He's big. Uh, had a good year at, you know, in London playing with Bouchard. Another big, big body that, uh, you know, kind of a stay of the home defenseman that we want to play rugged and um, we just want to get a mix of these these guys with the with the mix that we've got coming. Hey, Tyler, going back to, to last night, um, you kind of pinch yourself when guys like Zadina and Valeno are still available with picks where they weren't necessarily mock drafts by them. Uh, no, you know, we went back and that's over. I mean, we focused, you know, we, we put a pretty good shift in last night, to be honest with you, as far as really trying to dissect what, what we were going to do, uh, obviously with the nine picks today, um, you know, we traded one, you know, we traded a six today, you know, to get Columbus's fifth next year. We move up around in the draft. Um, so we thought we gained some value with, with that pick. Um, you know, we targeted, we wanted to target some goalies at, at one point in time. Uh, we got obviously two of them, so. No, I mean, yesterday was yesterday. We're happy with it, but today was just as important as yesterday was, and, you know, we thought we had a good day again. Where did you have Seth Parton? Sorry? Seth Parton, another, uh, looks like a tall, Yeah, shot yeah, player. another late bloomer type defenseman, uh, very good skater, um, good size, good puck moving defenseman. Just kind of fits that bill again. That uh, you know, we, we were pretty confident, you know, with the three thirds uh, that we were going to be able to target some guys, and ultimately they were there. So uh, was that kind of a theme? Sk speed and skating. I mean, Bergren, uh, my guys, my guys, they're, they're all good skaters. And, and yeah, you know, I, I think when you look at the game and and you see how fast the game's played, um, I think when you look at you know, Athosinu and, and, and Larkin, um, you know, Dennis Chalowski, they're all skaters. And, and when you have some some mix of some bigger body wingers, you know, with, with, with Svechnikov and Giovanni Smith and Tyler Bertuzzi plays kind of, you know, a robust kind of game. Um, we want to be fast with speed. We want to try to get big. Um, but at the end of the day, we wanted skill, I think, was pretty much the theme going into this draft. Ryan O'Reilly seems poised and uh, confident in himself. Yeah, you know. Um, in a good way. Uh, and, and once we kind of get off, you know, in, into that third, after the third round, you know, start relying heavily on, on area guys um, because, you know, my viewings go, go out the window um, as far as not being able to see everyone, and Jeff Finley for that matter. Um, so I'll be honest with you, our, our area guys started making picks and started pounding on the table. And, what did they, uh, how did they convince you O'Reilly would be a good pick? Well, just a big guy. Um, he's a little bit of a late bloomer. He's going to Denver. We've obviously talked, you know, actually he's the head coach now of the Dallas Stars. Um, you know, Jim Montgomery, who was in Denver. We got a kid um, in Philip Larson going to Denver. So we got a little bit of a relationship there. Uh, he had mono for half of the year, didn't play a lot, but scored 20. I believe it was 21 goals in, in the USHL. He's a big body guy. He's got to work on his skating, but he's got a good touch around the net. Uh, 
you know, we're just going to send them to college for a couple of years and kind of tuck them away and get our player development guys after them, and hopefully we can see the fruits of uh, fruition here. Maybe because Larson has had some incredible development, you were encouraged to take some more Swedish goalies from what they've done. Yeah, you know, we we have a goalie scout in Sweden as well. Um, and we all rely on heavily, um, obviously, with, with, you know, the Philip Larson pick. Goaltending is... I mean, as you know, especially in media, you know when you look back on goaltenders, it's you know it's a crapshoot a lot of times. You see, you know, see Rennie and Lundqvist, you know, their fifth, sixth, seventh round picks. Um, he liked these guys. We've we've seen them. Uh, one guy's a '97 that's played in pro hockey already. Uh, he's a big kid, six five. Uh, Eliason's a 2000 born kid played it. Actually, in Plymouth uh, at the end of uh, the Five Nations tournament, so um, they've had some national uh, program experience, and just another, you know, get them into the pool, a goaltending pool, and and hopefully one, you know, somebody's going to start separating themselves.